Hi again, Adam here. Uh, so this is part two of finding my ne my next favorite TTRPG system. Um, if you caught the last video, um, I've got some criteria for um, what I want my um, my system, my next favorite TTRPG system to be, um, and you can go back and look at that for all of those little bits. Um, I probably will add to that criteria as I narrow down what I like, but, um, and some of them were sort of negative, like I don't like rolling for initiative and having an initiative order, um, things like that. So, but I thought today I would talk about what kinds of games I'm looking at. Um, they will inform future videos in this series. Um, so the first the first thing um, I should probably go through is to talk about the ones I'm the, sort of more the most popular or the ones that you might be more familiar with, and then I will start going through the ones that are sort of less known um, or I'm less excited about, I guess. Um, so obviously there's Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Uh, they are releasing new books next year in 2024. Looks like it's probably going to be at the tail end of 2024. There's there's the 50th anniversary of D&D coming up, and I think they wanted to commemorate that with new core rule books, although they're not willing to say that it's a new edition. Um, so we will see. So far, I've been following along with the playtesting somewhat, but I don't think it goes far enough to change the things that I find problematic or less exciting or frustrating about d and 5th edition. So I'm not holding out hope for that. And also, I don't want to wait. I hope I can find something sooner than the tail end of 2024. Um, but we shall see when those come out. They might convince me. It's It's possible. But I'm also not too enthusiastic with some decisions that Hasbro made in this calendar year and especially, but also in previous calendar years. So um, there's also Pathfinder 2nd Edition. I went into this a little bit last time. Not hopeful that Pathfinder 2nd Edition will, will capture my interest very much. Um, I know that they are um, revamping uh, or what do they call it? The remastered edition or the revamped or it was something like that. Anyway, they're redoing a lot of stuff, mostly to get out of using OGL language, um, SRD language. Um, so they can have their very own thing, um, from top to bottom. Um, but, and that they took that opportunity, I think was wise and made, redid some aspects of the game, but I think it's still too complex for me. So, I'm also looking at Darrington Press's Daggerheart coming out soon. I think there are some very promising things about that. Um, they are the Darrington Press is the publishing arm of Critical Role, so it probably will have this big following um, because Critical Role is just so popular. But we shall see, um, and I can talk about that more in a future video and get into particulars. There's also MCDM's new system. Uh, I think their crowdfunding starts next month in December 2023 um, and then probably the system will come out itself um, in 2024 or sometime so um, and I uh, I like I've been following what Matt Colville has been saying in his videos on YouTube about it um, they kind of go through designs I haven't been able to sign up for the patreon <sighs> I just I don't have the money so um, I also recently picked up, oh, before I go into that, um, another one that came out of the OGL debacle was, um, Cool Name Goes Here, which is a little obscure, um, and I was following along and I joined their Discord server and, uh, reading their playtesting and design documents, um, and then just eventually they made some design decisions that I was just like, Nah, not for me. Um, but I wish them well. It sounds like they're doing something that a lot of people are excited about. Um, and they have a small following, um, which I hope only continues to grow because more people in the hobby, the better for all of us. Um, 
And then there was Cobalt Press's Tales of the Valiant. And it is it's D and D. I know they're I know they're spinning it in their own direction and a lot of the things that they're doing are cool. Um, addressing some things, some frustrations I had, like all the different things that are called levels. <laughs> um spell level, character level, class level, it and then the list goes levels of exhaustion. The list goes on and on. Um, so that was one thing, but a lot of it, a lot of it just feels like D and D fifth edition all over again, um, with some tweaks. Um, and I, I'm hoping for something that's not like that. Um, but anyway, I can go into, in fact, let me make a note of that. Um, I will go in, uh, to particulars, uh, maybe in a later video. Um, I picked up the One Ring um, box set uh, for the holidays last year, and I've, I'm embarrassed to say I have not totally read them through yet, um, but I think that I was, and I should have, I mean, I knew this going into it, it's a very particular system, right? It's, it's designed for Tolkien's Lord of the Rings um, to play in that fantasy setting. Um, and I'm looking for something that can support more than one setting that's not so tuned into just one. And I find that like a lot of people, um, especially on, on Kickstarter and other crowdfunder sites, when they come up with their own TTRGB system, it's not, it doesn't like support. It supports very niche settings, sometimes like very, very particular settings, like the setting is part of the game. And I, I want something that can um, support a homebrew setting or different styles of fantasy, uh, different genres of fantasy. So, um, And then I'm just going to go down my uh, holiday wish list because that this is when I get my, um, my fill of new products. So eventually I'm going to look at Blades in the Dark. Um, I almost picked it up once and um, it was between that and the One Ring. And I just... <laughs> on a whim grabbed the one ring instead. Um, but I, I do look forward to looking at that. There's also tales of Zadia, the dragon prince role-playing game. I don't, I don't know anything about it. It's on my list. I want to look at it later. Um, there's fiasco, but I know that that's sort of an introduction to role-playing generally. Um, probably not, not at all specific to fantasy, which is one of my criteria and probably not able to support a long narrative arc. Um, so, but good for introducing people to role playing in general. That's what I've heard anyway. Um, there's also Fantasy Age. I've got their basic rule book in my holiday list. Um, I, I again, I don't know very much about it. Um, Fantasy Hero Sixth Edition. Um, there might be an, like, even a later edition. I'm just like going through and hoping that I've gotten the most recent editions of all these. Savage Worlds um, is another one, and then Cortex Prime. Again, I really don't know. Fate Core and Seventh C. So I'm gonna look into all these games. I'm gonna get as many of these for the holidays as um, as I can, um, and we shall see um, if one of them that's already been released um, might be my new my new favorite TTRPG. Um, so I'm just going to keep going and I'll dive deeper into what I like and what I don't like about the systems I already know about. And then as I pick up new systems and read through them and maybe play th them a little, I will, I will talk about those as well. And all in pursuit, not to put anything, anything down, um, any product, but all in pursuit of finding my next favorite TT, TT, about TTRPG. Um, I'll talk to you another time.